Uh, all of you welcome back to yet another video so in this video we'll try to understand that how important dsa is for you if you're a complete beginner or if you're interested in web development backend development blockchain development smart contract connection or building a protocol how important dsa is data structure and algorithm so before i go further in this video i want to make a quick disclaimer that those who give you advice and they said that you can skip the data structure part and you can focus on the front end and the back end so I don't know why they are suggesting you this because in my point of view, data structure is everything. You have to start learning from the right beginning. So when I got into the industry four years ago, I was totally focused in JavaScript. And when the interviewer asked me, it was heavily questioned around the data structure in the JavaScript that, and obviously no one's going to hire you if you don't have a data structure idea. For example, if someone's hired you and they want you to build an e-commerce backend where you have to allow the feature of uploading product editing product or deleting and getting some information so you design the backend part normally but you have to design in such a way so in case after one year or after two years company decided to add extra features like adding getting a stats that how many sales are getting so you have to design the entire system in that way you can't build just like this you have to keep all of things in your mind that in case company wants to add extra feature then they can easily be able to add it they don't need to change the entire system so that's why data structure is very important from the right beginning when you start learning anything so here i would suggest you that if you are interested in blockchain development then the very first thing you have to do is that you have to learn about the javascript you have to learn every single thing in the javascript it will take time there is no doubt definitely it will take time but you have to give focus on the javascript try to understand the how you're going to play with the data how the data structures takes place in the javascript when you're going to make an api call to any blockchain you will get a data in form of json object or maybe an array so how are you going to perform all of those actions all the crud operations all the filtrations all the all the copy things so how are you going to perform all of those actions with the data you have to know about it because when you get a data from any from your server you should never perform the action straight away on the main data you have to create a copy of it and then you can perform all of the action which you want to provide so that's why data structure is very important you have to focus on the javascript learn about the data structure once you master that after that focus on the solid programming language we have data structure in the solid programming language as well because when you will write the smart contract it's going to deploy on the blockchains and once it's deployed no one can change that there is a possibility you can do the upgradation but that's going contract is going to be on the blockchain so you have to build the contract in such a way that your user should not pay highest amount so we have multiple way to store the data in the contract you can define a struct and you can define all the data variable like unt address booleans you can define and you can take a huge chunks of data and you can store in the contract or you can take the smart approach you can upload the data into the ipfs and you can store the data entirely in a single url and that url you can store in the contract so this is the two methods we have to store the data so you have to decide that which approach you want to take and what is your company requirement on the base of that you have to build a smart contract so if you're a complete beginner i would say that don't go deeply in the data structure just try to learn and whatever you are learning try to understand because majority of you don't try to understand the things that why it's happening and because of that, you commit a lot of mistakes and that's created a lot of confusion. So those who suggest to you that data structure is not that important, I don't know why they are telling you this, but data structure is very important. Actually, it's the backbone of every single application you use in your day to day life. Without data structure, how would you imagine that is going to be such a huge application and how easily everything is happening? What is happening? Algorithm, user interest. So that's how you have to thing so data structure is important and i'm not suggesting you any course go and take course of data structure no no not at all just start with one thing at a time if you are new to blockchain development new to programming learn javascript because whatever i have explained i have explained in terms of web development backend development or the javascript or the, or the blockchain part so learn about the javascript that will help you in multiple way so learn about javascript then learn about the sorority learn about the little bit framework that how react next just work then start building project we have 30 plus project on our channel so once you build at least five of them it will give you amazing idea that how things are coming together you're going to use the most important library which you can use to build your tab to get the data and design the data you're going to make a call to the blockchains and get the data in real time so that will teach you every single thing so again i would suggest you check this particular course all the 35 course we have on our channel i try to understand every single thing so i believe that now you guys have got your confusion clear that 
whether the data structure is important or not it's absolutely must for every single developer web 2 web 3 backend protocol data structure is everything with that i'm ending this video i hope you guys have got an idea that what you have to do and how you have to learn and when you have to learn you have to start from the very beginning whatever you are learning try to understand in terms of data structure as well take the reference try to understand that what exactly happening and that will automatically clear all your doubt. So with that, I'm ending this video. Hope you guys have got an idea. If you still have any confusion, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to help you with that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.